Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, hit the like button if you like and please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I want to thank the subscribers that have already subscribed. Thank you so much. It's a blessing and you're a blessing. This is a very touchy, touchy situation. It took me a few days to decide whether I wanted to approach it. And I thought, well, I will be very careful how I approach it. This is about an unborn child developing a heartbeat. And it goes under abortions, which I don't like to talk about. I don't believe in them. But there's a lot of situations a lot of situations it's a very sad sad topic for anyone that is a female but let's start and see where I end up okay throughout a woman's pregnancy her baby undergoes many stages of development before birth among the milestones that indicate presence of life is the heartbeat when does a fetus develop a heartbeat? Through the use of ultrasounds, modern science can detect the waves of the baby's heartbeat as early as three weeks after fertilization. Although the child's organs have not yet fully formed, soon after this three-week mark, the heartbeat beats about 110 times per minute. 21 days, heartbeat of the Preborn child can be detected as early as this. A fetal heartbeat can be distinguished from the mother's because it is often much faster than hers. Listen here to experience firsthand how the fetal heartbeat develops throughout a woman's pregnancy. Now, I don't know if you're going to hear this. I haven't done this. But uh, I'm going to click it and see what happens here. It's not going to work. No. It's not. I can't do it. It's not going to work. I'm sorry about that. But it just, it beats a lot faster than the mama's. Yeah, I can't reach the page. That's okay. That's okay. The results of the survey showed that almost 100, wait a minute. Okay, we're in the wrong place here. Let's go back. It switched pages on me. Let me start over again. Next time I won't click that. Alright, let's start this one right here. This one is what I want. And I'll leave off. Okay. Yeah, 110 times per minute. Soon after three week mark of the heartbeats, about 110 times per minute. A fetal heartbeat can be distinguished from the mother's because it is often faster. And that's where I ran into trouble, so we'll go on down here. The developing heart and resonant heartbeat originates about day 18 or 19 from the menstrual derm and begins beating and pumping blood about day 21 or 22. It forms from the cardio cardiogenic region near the head and is visible as a prominent heart bulge on the surface of the embryo. The primitive heart begins in form of an S shape within the pericardium between days 23 and 28. The internal specta begins to form about day 28, separating the heart into a, a trillia and ventricles, atria, and ventricles, although the foramen oval persists until shortly after birth. Between weeks 5 and 8, the atrial ventric ventricle valves form. 
between weeks 5 and 8. The antraventricle valves form. The, the seminar valves form between weeks 5 and 9. This miraculous growth proves the existence of a human being who is not a part of his mother, but who is his own person and reliant upon her for substance. Once the heart begins its detectable beat, it is obvious that it beats much faster than an adult's. What to expect articles for expectant mothers explain the varying speeds at which the baby's heart beats. By six weeks, the heart is beating 110 times a minute. Just two weeks later, it will rise to between 150 and 170 times a minute. By weeks nine or 10, the baby's heart will beat about 170 times per minute. At this point, it begins to slow down. Then around week 20, it will go to about 140 beats per minute. During labor, the baby's heart rate can go anywhere from 110 to 160 beats per minute with normal variations on either side. How does a doctor detect a baby's heartbeat? According to John Hopkins, there are two kinds of fetal heart monitoring, monitorings, external and internal. When a doctor listens externally, one of the tools he uses is called a Doppler ultrasound device. This method listens to a baby's heartbeat through the mother's belly. The doctor, would that be what we call stethoscope? That's what I would think. Uh, not sure. Doctor will listen during routine prenatal visits and if he suspects something is wrong, in addition, see in the older days, it was a stethoscope. I'm old. <laughs> when a woman is in labor, the baby's heart rate will also be monitored continuously using what's called a transducer or ultrasound probe that fastens to the woman's belly. This helps the doctors determine if the baby's experiencing any distress. If the doctor's concerned about the baby's well-being during labor, he can monitor the baby's heartbeat rate by placing an electrode directly on the baby's scalp. The Johnson Hopkins article states that this electrode connected to a monitor and gives better readings because things like movement don't affect it. But it can only be done if the fluid-filled sac that surrounds the baby during pregnancy, the amniotic sac, has broken and the cervix is open. Your provider will use internal monitoring, which external monitoring is not given a good reading. Or your provider may use this method to watch your baby more closely during labor. Obvious, obviously, hello Betty, you know my words, <laughs> I'm working on them. This step is only taken if the doctors have a grave concern about the baby's condition. The heartbeat bills. Several states, including Texas, Georgia, Kentucky, Missouri, Mississippi, and Ohio, have enacted laws to protect some babies after a heartbeat is detected. Other states, such as South Dakota and Montana, have enacted law to protect some babies, such as those diagnosed with sound Down syndrome or babies after 20 weeks gestation. These flaws, flawed laws do not protect all babies or in all circumstances. We know the good pro-life law must protect all babies. As the catechism of the Catholic Church emphatically, emphatically teaches an abortion is never permissible. Okay, some abortion doctors such as Nisha Verma states that the baby's heartbeat isn't actually a real heartbeat because the valves that open and close to create the sound of a heartbeat don't form until the ninth or 10th week. Verma states that in younger baby, the flickering that we see on the ultrasound that early in the development of the pregnancy is actually electrical activity. But as we can hear in this video, a baby's heart is beaten regardless of the heart stage of development. The heart simply hasn't developed to its final stage, but that doesn't mean the baby is not alive. On the contrary, 
The baby grows expulsionately every day. The facts are irrefutable. A baby is created at fertilization, the beginning of life. The formation of the human heart, manifested by its heartbeat, is a clear indicator that another human being is present in the mother's womb. This fact is what the heartbeat bills are attempting to teach and protect. They're not stating that human life begins at the first detection of the heartbeat. Rather, they are stating that discovery of the heartbeat shows the life is already present. Now, I'm not going to read any more about that. Uh, like I said, this is a very touchy situation. I think the first thing that I would say is when your child, your little girl, starts her menstrual cycle, even though you don't want to do it, get that child on some sort of birth control. Here are the reasons why. You don't know who that person might be, that male person, that will take that child's innocent away from her. You don't know. It could be a relative. It could be a boy at school. Or a bunch of boys just being smart butts. You don't know. You think, well, I'm not putting my child on any kind of birth control, I want her to stay a virgin. Well, the number one reason in this day and age, you may not get that like in the olden days. And even then, there was incest, rape, even in the Bible. Fathers did their daughters. Look at it today. Many, many months ago, I think it was still within the year and a half, I read for this man raped his eight day year old baby girl. Eight days old. She had just been brought home from the hospital. Maybe after three, four days of being in the hospital, her mommy brought her home. Eight days later, her boyfriend raped her. Eight days old. Not eight months. Not eight years. Eight days. Think about it. As soon as as your little girl that you love and think you can protect through all of life, I'm sorry. Get her on birth control after her first menstrual cycle. Okay? Save her life. Save her from becoming pregnant with a child that you will probably want to abort by incest or rape. But that baby's life has already started. Six weeks to eight weeks, nine weeks. Please, don't murder a baby. Prevent it. Get your baby girl as soon as she starts her menstrual cycle. Take her to the doctor and explain everything to her. And tell her this is the safest way for her to stay from getting pregnant at such a young age until she is grown in love and want to get married and then start a family. That's important. 
Like I said, it's a very touchy situation. I hope I don't hurt anybody or make anybody upset. But the positively things that can happen, I have already suggested. Protect her. Protect an unborn baby from being murdered. Get her on birth control as soon as her first menstrual cycle and explain to her why you know the men the daddies they sit their boys down the mamas sit their girls down and explain them about their menstrual cycle the daddies explain to the boys how they're going to become a man at a very young age more or less a young man but you know you get these teenagers today and not only that, this goes for grown-ups. I'm not going to leave out grown-ups either. No. If you're living in the street, you have no home, and you lay around to make money to buy food so you can eat, go to a clinic that offers free services and get some protection. So you don't have to have a murdered baby coming out of your belly. I could show you pictures of babies that have been butchered inside the mother's womb, but I will not do that. I don't need to do that because you can imagine. And that baby is alive while they chop it up. So they can pull all the pieces out of your uterus and then give you a DNC the next day and then send you back out on the street. That baby was alive while being murdered. Butchered. Please. Please. If you're on drugs, you're alcoholic, please get protection from becoming pregnant. I guess that's it. Like in the hell, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, bless the fruit of thy womb. Amen. I'll be back. God bless.